What is up, everybody? We're going to be talking real briefly about motorcycle mounts and specifically quad lock here. I want to maximize road safety, and using quad lock is, is basically how I do this. So what I uh, tend to see out there is that there's some problems um, when it comes to uh, riding and having phones. Like A lot of people are really concerned about, you know, it's going to be distraction and everything. So I want to go over that. I want to go over that. So we're going to be talking about maximizing the, the road safety um, by minimizing uh, vibration-related uh, smartphone damage, uh, promoting hands-free uh, phone usage for enhanced safety, optimizing quad lock mount placement. So there's different mount placements. You can have it on the stem, the mirrors, and then handlebars. Um, then we're going to be talking about real quickly about uh, how to be responsible when we're riding when it comes to having a phone on there and how I do it, basically. So once again, this is a sponsored video that I use quad lock for my Galaxy 20S I'm sorry, Galaxy S20 Plus, and I have it up here on the screen. It's $120 for everything I have. Um, Handlebar Pro, Mount Pro, I got the vibration dampener and everything for $20. $20. Pretty cool. Have it all right here. But anyway, so what I want to talk about real quick is, uh, number one, uh, navigating unfamiliar roads uh, safely. So when I'm out there riding, I, I've made comments about how uh, I love having my GPS on the handlebars, and I treat it just like if I'm playing Grand Theft Auto or any other road kind of game. I have a mini map. So I have a little mini map on the bottom left. I have GPS going. I'm riding where I need to go. All I have to do is focus on the road. I can do a quick glance and see that I have a turn coming up in like 0.5 miles or whatever. And it's gonna be a left turn, something like that. So I absolutely love having my phone for that reason. And it's pretty much the main reason outside of maybe having some music and I do a quick little swipe. So the cool thing there is that, you know, people tend to not be able to see where they're going. That's a big problem. The solution is to have it right there in your handlebars, glanceable. You can navigate that stuff. So make sure you have turn-by-turn -turn, uh, directions on. Uh, maybe even have it uh, vocalized and you have like a headset and it can tell you exactly where it's going. A lot of people talk about, you know, their phone camera um, on the S20 Plus that I have. You can see there's multiple lenses. Some of them, there's the optical image stabilization, not the digital image stabilization. And uh, vibrations from the motorcycle can cause some damage to the motorized unit inside the optical image stabilization. That's why having the vibration dampener uh, is extremely important. Uh, it's going to help uh, reduce those harmful vibrations so that your optical image stabilization on your camera, uh, if your phone camera can still be usable. So like I uh, show here is that I do have it in uh, the list right here, and I'm making sure that I do have that. Let's go ahead and replay that. Um, $20, not a big deal. Uh, well, not a big deal. I don't want to say that. Uh, it can be, but it's definitely worth it, especially if you want to have that GPS going on right there. So harmful, harmful vibrations during the rides, no bueno. Uh, let's not have that. Let's just actually put on. They have the vibration dampeners right here on their, mic, on their bike. So grab one. Uh, make sure that you uh, actually check it every now and then because it does it does move and it vibrates. So if you get dirt in there, it's just going to limit the uh, basically the suspension that it has. Treat it like it's another maintenance thing. So I want you guys to utilize hands-free technology basically when it comes to this. So having the phone in your jacket pocket, that works. That definitely works. But if you're getting a phone call and you know for a fact that you're out and about at least for a while and it might be like a loved one or somebody that you do need to get uh, in touch with and you're waiting for something, you don't want to be fumbling with that. Uh, so you can pull off the side of the road and check and it could be a telemarketer and kind of piss you off a little bit because he got you off the bike. Or you can have it on your handlebars and it'll, and it'll show like telemarketer and be like, I can ignore that. So it's easier to prioritize basically phone calls, uh, text messages, whatever it is that you might seem important that you, you're not going to get off the bike for another 45 minutes and you kind of want to check it. So having that right there is really important. So you're able to prioritize. You can focus on the ride and you're able to do that and you can have hands-free inter interaction. So you can interact it with your eyes versus having to interact with your hands. That's very important. So having it on the handlebars is something I like to do for that very specific uh, reason on top of the GPS. And then I want to protect my phone with the vibration dampener. Another thing is that that's really cool is that here on when you buy stuff uh, from Quadlock, which links in the description for that, is that I picked the Handlebar Mount Pro. It does have different adjustments and angles with, with how you can place it, because that's a big one. So a lot of people have problems with where am I going to put it on the motorcycle. Handlebar, Pro, Handlebar Mount Pro really helps with that, so that's on the handlebars. But if you don't have handlebars because you have clip-ons, you have a sport bike and all that stuff, you can kind of see a little bit here. Uh, they have a valve stem uh, mount. So they have valve stem, they have a mirror mount, uh, so you can check and, and do that all right there on the website, fork stem mount, mirror stem, small bars, or handlebar uh, mount. I have handlebars, 
So I utilize that. So you want to make sure you actually can see it. You don't want it like down below and you can't see it, but it's still mounted. It's, it kind of defeats the purpose. So having it so it's visible is very, very important. So make sure you have like, uh, you, you check your bike and you, you pick the mount that you like the best. Uh, make sure you're strategic about the mount placement. It's very important because you don't want to be like looking like this while you're off on the side seeing where the stuff is. You want to be able to sit upright, have good body posture, and just do a quick glance. That's really important. That's what we're going to talk about real quick. Oh, I'll, real, I want to make sure we talk about this knuckle adapters and spacers just in case you need to make some changes, uh, you know, because you got some stuff on your handlebars. But the next thing that I want to talk about, um, and yes, it's the last thing, and I know it's, oh, it's safety, man. Yeah, it is. It's all about safety here. And the thing that I want to talk about is balancing smartphone accessibility and road safety. I don't want you staring at your phone. <laughs> I don't want you staring at your phone. I think that's going to cause more problems than it is. I know a lot of people like to look at their phones when they're driving. I know phones are very big distraction. It's a big dopamine hit every time you get a notification. So put on, first and foremost, put on do not disturb when you're riding. Just put on do not disturb. Um, you can still get phone calls through. You're still probably going to get a text message through, but it's not going to be like a ding, 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 ding. It's not going to just be constantly hitting you. Um just don't let it become a distraction. Focus on the ride, plan your ride, make sure that you're in the yellow stage, not white stage, because if you're staring at your phone, you're in white stage. Very important that you're focusing on it. Minimize those interactions. So what I do when I'm on the bike, I set boundaries. So just like if you're setting boundaries when you're at work, when you're setting boundaries at home. So let's say at work, the boundary is you don't talk about personal life. You know, you don't like your coworkers, whatever it is. Boundary on the motorcycle I don't pick up the phone and answer a phone call unless I pull off on the side. I only use GPS and Spotify. That's it. Mo uh, music and then GPS. Now, I have a Bluetooth system if I'm talking with friends or and everything, but that's it. GPS, music. Not I'm texting, not I'm checking uh, TikTok. I, I'm trying to be... I don't, I don't check TikTok. Uh, I'm not checking Instagram. There you go. So do not disturb is a great thing you can do. You can have it on the handlebars. Like I said, you can prioritize. If you see a notification, you can you can say that's not important. Um, you get a text message that is important. You can pull off the side of the road. You get a phone call that it's from a loved one. You can pull off the side of the road and make a phone call. Whatever it is you want to do, but make sure you guys check out Quadlock. They have everything that you're going to need when it comes to uh, maximizing your road safety um, with, a, with a phone. It's going to improve your road safety, improve your quality of life because now you can actually utilize a communication device on your phone, which basically has everything that you need, like GPS, music, your camera, all that stuff. So grab yourself a quad lock. Here's the handlebar mount. Here's the vibration dampener. Like I said, I have the pro version. Uh, absolutely love it. But uh, yeah, I've been using it for a year now. And I don't know. I just, I, I don't think I could ride without it. <laughs>